morning, welcome to Croft, where we're finally back out on a racetrack for the next episode of Make Me A Racing Driver. We're here today with these cars. This is the City Car Cup, a brand new initiative that's been launched by the BRSCC. The name of the game is Low Cost Fun Racing in 1000cc cars. So with that said, let's get back out on track, shall we? See how quick we can go. I like the fact you can move it around. I've been on these tyres before. Have you tried the Nankan? I can't say no. I haven't. So we use them in the BMW Compact Cup. You they, say. Would, they would move. They would move quite a bit. Right. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. 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 I've just been uh, speaking to Jiggy James Gornel uh, just about the car and expect here at Croft um, and he was telling me that the car he was driving which is the sister car the one that I think I'll be in uh, a little bit more loose on the rear compared to me so it's telling me something about the tyres um, it's easy to use those in the BMW compact car um, so that you can really get a good slide on but they've got a, a good amount of grip so there's a good amount of flex in the tyre which is quite nice um, so yeah I'm hoping to get out there and just have a bit of fun really take it easy for the first couple of laps um, and yeah, mainly just not go too hard on it too soon because I've never been around Croft and the last thing I want to do obviously is send one of these you know pristine cars into the pool or onto the grass or something like that so you know just take it easy um, and you know not push too hard and take the time to learn it you know the main thing is we're not here to set lap records we're not here to go out and prove that we can be the fastest although of course you know that competitive instinct probably will take over at some point um, but you know we just want to be here and have fun really more than anything so yeah let's see what happens get out of the car um, and enjoy it more than anything back out in a race car like you say first time probably probably on a track aside from my eyes license uh, recently uh, since March so yeah it's been really good actually um, I'm looking forward to just sort of you know building on that building a bit of confidence and just having more fun really as I said before the end of the game isn't lap time today it's just to get comfortable with the car um, and hopefully see what we can look to do in the future more than anything so um, I think again if we should just find a really solid base to work from that would be quite confidence inspiring if we do decide to take this up as an option for the future That was amazing. That's definitely Go going time. in. That's definitely going in. I want you to make me a racing drive, Luke. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So what's the first lesson? Clutch.
so quiet. I guess the real important question though is are you going to channel your inner Jimmer when you're out there? Oh, never mind. Yes. Or just hit people. Show them how it's done. Rob was saying that the 18 is a bit more planted at the rear. This one was being built here last night apparently. Right. Um, so this, that was his shakedown essentially. A little bit more loose at the rear that one. Were you impressed? Yeah. He's never impressed. He's never impressed. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's it. One day he'll tell me he's impressed, yeah. and I'll be like, yeah. I was third out on the track, and there were two cars in front of me. Got past them on the outlap, which was quite useful. Then had clear track in front of me to just sort of set my own pace, really more than anything. And I was kind of keeping a bit of an eye on the rear view just to see whereabouts they were. And I was pleasantly surprised at the fact that they were getting smaller and smaller in the rear view, which is always a positive sign. As I keep trying to reiterate to myself, though, it wasn't about out of times today. It's just about fun, and I really actually had a lot of fun out there. I was, you know, chasing improvements, thinking, you know, if I break later here, I can, you know turn in later and I can turn in harder and faster and you know all of those sorts of things so yeah there's definitely a competitive edge coming out so I'm keen to see what we can do really um, for the future I think that this is a really exciting series I think the whole premise with what they're doing here more than anything is really exciting and even though I was only following a couple of cars I reckon a field full of those things is going to be well chaotic for a start but also really really good fun in respect of there's two former one former BTCC driver one current BTCC driver here you know compared to them I'd probably be about five seconds off the pace so it's all relative isn't it and yeah I mean you know it's nice to be fast and it's nice to feel good about the performance um, but yeah just don't get carried away with it too much I think what we found exactly what I wanted before we got into the car was I wanted to find that base level and I think I've found that base level now and I think you know I know I can be quick at this and I know that I found a good base to work on and build from so that's all I wanted and uh, let's see what happens so we've developed what we think is a proper little race car, it's the phrase that they use quite often, um, at uh, a, a low cost comparative to, to most other series of championships that are out there. Um, and something that's quite modern and attractive to, let's say, youthful drivers, uh, inexperienced people, um, that, that might aspire to motorsport but have never really seen anything that, that they could realistically become involved in. What surprised us a little bit is although we've targeted this at the, 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 the new grassroots audience and we're not talking age here, anybody that's not raced before that maybe has aspirations or has looked at it on the TV or you know they've got mates that race, you know anybody that's not raced before that's we want to give them that platform to come and race. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by the mix of age and experience you know from 15, 16 year olds to, to you know old guys like me that, that see this as a <laughs> you know, a step towards not having to spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on the racing. So it's, it's you know, re really pleasing to see and to hear the amount of interest we've had from across the spectrum, age-wise and sex, and you know, it's, it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. We decided to, to, to allow the three different marks to, to give a little bit of competition between brands. Um, you know, so that, that adds a new dimension a little, and we're, we're getting favouritism already, so people saying, I want an Igo, I don't want to see one, so that, that's nice that we've, we've, we've created a little bit of a, uh, an additional interest from introducing the three brands. So yeah, the cars are, are fairly simple, they're, they're, they're really unburstable little cars anyway. Um, engines, gearboxes, completely standard, um, race suspension, semi-slick tyres. Um, yeah, they, they, they do everything really well from, from our tests and our evaluations. So finally, let's touch on the partners that you've got involved with this as well. We've got Nankang yeah. Tyres on board, you've got SW Motorsports. Tell us about the, those companies, how they came into the SW Motorsports, start, to start with, they're our technical partners. They're a, hugely, a huge part of this, this whole, whole series. BRSCC got them on board as technical partners, development partners. And we've done something fairly unique in the marketplace that they're going to build and sell turnkey race ready cars for a fixed price. Um, so if you want an Igo, a C1 or a 107, you can buy one ready built, roll off the trailer for £6,995, um, which is pretty 
cheap in race car terms as, as, as anybody would know. Can I also mention Gaz shocks? Because the suspension on the cars has been developed by Gaz, who are a UK company, a British company, um, who BRSCC have worked with closely over the years, and they've developed a set of suspension for this car bespoke for it. So it's not an off-the-shelf package. We've together developed a suspension that gives us the correct travel, correct spring rates, correct adjustability uh, to make it feel like a little race car. Thank you very much, nice to meet you again. So, a thoroughly enjoyable day here today at Croft. Huge thank you to the BRSCC, to the City Car Cup, to SM Motorsports, Nanking Tyres, and everybody really who has been involved and made today happen. It's just been thoroughly enjoyable more than anything. Getting out on track for a couple of sessions, I can't tell you how good it felt to be back out in a race car going at, well, relatively quick speeds, especially in the Citroen C1. Um, I've just thoroughly enjoyed it more than anything. It's been a very exciting experience, and you know, who knows, maybe we'll be out on the grid later on this year. If not, hopefully we can do something uh, next year with these guys but yeah I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be involved and to be here and uh, yeah that brings an end to it so uh, I think I better head off to Barnard Castle and test my eyesight for the drive out. What are you doing there Tom? Me? Yeah. We're at Barnard Castle, so I'm just uh, checking my eyesight then. Okay. How many things am I holding up? One more than me.